Hi everyone, it's Erin from EB Mixed Media. Today I am gonna be working on making some more paper. Um, this paper in particular, I am going to include as a free digital download on my Teachable site. And I always do that. I like to make a free downloadable that you can print um, when I send out my newsletters. So that's what I'm working on today. And I wanna make something kind of fallish. Uh, so I've got this piece of paper that I created as part of my new Painted Papers 101 class. And um, this is just a base layer on here. I demonstrate a lot of techniques in that class. It's very um, much geared towards beginners on how to just get some paint down on your paper so that you can then start working on it and develop something really, um, really pretty. So uh, to that end, I'm just gonna start making something that then hopefully will be nice enough to include as a free downloadable on my Teachable site when you sign up for my newsletter. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start with the stencil just to get some more interest on here. This stencil is available at Joggles uh, and it's a really gorgeous stencil. It's kind of an art deco style stencil. So I think I'll start with that. And I'm debating what colors I wanna start with, but I'm thinking fall, so I think I might go bold with this jack-o'-lantern color. And I might regret it, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> and that is really, really runny. Probably needed a little more of a shake. This could be a nightmare. Let's see how it goes. It's really orange, but I want this to read super fall. I'm using just a makeup sponge to put this down. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it all over. And as I mentioned in the beginning, for those of you who might be interested, if you're new to mixed media, I do have a new class out on making paint and papers, making arty papers to use in your mixed media work. So you might wanna check that out. I'll put the link in the comments. Um, but I do get a lot of questions on how I make my papers that I use in my art, my collages and things. So I thought that could be a helpful class for people that are just starting out. Isn't that a gorgeous stencil? So as I was doing this, I got a uh, blue paint, teal paint that was on my palette um, onto my sponge and I put it on there. Um, so that's gonna be a challenge. We'll just have to figure out how to fix that. Um, it's not the end of the world. I could even try <clears throat> to use a wet wipe to fix that. I wanted to go ahead and leave this in so you can see what happens uh, when you screw up, right? <laughs> how do you fix it? And I actually kind of love this part of mixed media, which is the problem solving. Again, this is just a first layer, so it's not going to ruin the piece. And sometimes as Bob Ross says, we have happy accidents and it ends up working out even better in our favor. Moving right along, I'm gonna do another stencil. And um, just to get even some more depth and interest here, and I'll start over here and try and see how much of that I can cover up. This is another, this is a metallic, it's a, what's it called, pink tourmaline. And this stencil came in a set from um, Faber, is that how you say it, Castell. Um, I've had these for ages and they are cardstock. It's a kind of heavy duty cardstock, but actually the more paint you put on it, the more durable they seem to become. It is so bright today. I have a feeling that's impacting the light in the studio here, the studio, <laughs> the upstairs bedroom of my house uh, where I have my art desk. So I apologize if the light is really funky today as it changes. So like I said, I was going for a real fall feel, but my idea of fall colors are maybe a little different than other people's, so we'll see. Well, that helps a little bit with the problem areas. We'll keep going and hopefully we can correct that even more as we move forward.
Okay. So I've got a little bit of this Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold um, from Golden. This is a high flow acrylic. I'm just gonna put it in this area here for starters. Give it a little spray. Maybe even give it more of a spray. And move some of this around the page. Just to break up all of that yellow background. That's starting to look really rich. Okay, I'm gonna give that a dry. I just wanna show you how when I'm drying this, you can see the air is forcing the color to run and it's leaving me with this really cool mottled, marbly look, sort of. Which is really interesting and fun. I'm really kind of loving the metallics in this so but I feel like I want something lighter now um, like a white I do have this champagne color in a metallic I'm going to try using that and I've got this little tray I think maybe beads or something came in it it could have been chocolates I'm not sure but I'm going to try doing some stamping with this we'll see how it works could be a disaster, we shall see. It's worth a shot. Oh, well, that's not working out how I hoped it would. I'm gonna do it one more time and see. Maybe I just didn't get enough paint on here. Well, I'm getting an outline. It's subtle, but it is kind of pretty. It's not giving, it's not as bright as I wanted it to be, but we can add that in another step. Yeah, I actually like, I'm liking how that looks. Um, it's just not as bright as I was going for, but that's all right. Is that showing up? I can't tell. I mean, I can see it. I just don't know if you can see it. I like it though. Okay, since I can't seem to really cover up this turquoise, I've got some on my sponge and I'm gonna just move it around a little bit and put it in a few more places. So it looks like it was a little bit deliberate as opposed to a mistake. And it's just adding 
a little more something to this piece. I'm not doing it in a lot of places. I just wanted it to look like not a big mistake. So it's everywhere, okay? That's how I'm gonna handle that. I wanna get some light in here. And one of my favorite ways to do that is this stencil. This is from, I'm pretty sure this is from Stencil Girl. I love this stencil. I love that stencil. That's brightening, brightening this up a bit. Well, I guess I didn't have my camera on. I, that makes me so upset when I do that. I went through with this stamp um, and I put these black leaves on here. I'm not 100% sure I really like it. Um, I wanted something dark. I really wanted the leaves. I don't know how I feel about this, but um, I'm gonna keep going. So I've got a stamp here. And it's got the word thank, thankful, thank you on it. So since we're, this is fall and Thanksgiving's coming up, I'm gonna add some of this in. Just here and there. That was a little crooked. Okay some of my chalks out from Denmark. There's one in particular that's a really pretty color. Just gonna kind of draw some branches with this. And then because that's a chalk, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with some matte medium. I'm running out of spots here on my page. See how this works, I don't know. And again, this is sort of echoing the um, these lines when I sprayed the water on the uh, high flow acrylic and then used the blow dryer and the water just ran and spread out. This is kind of mimicking that a little bit. It's almost a marbled effect, but I was sort of thinking of branches when I was doing it. This is weird, I've never done this before. <laughs> Might be a reason. <laughs> there we go. I do kind of like how it looks like branches. I'm not sure I absolutely love it. I've still got some black there. I'm gonna go ahead and do some black splatters while I have the black. Still handy. I'm just going all in on the black, I guess. <laughs> Well, I'm struggling with how to salvage this. I don't, I just don't like it. So um, what I think I might do here is um, get out another stencil.
One thing I really like about mixed media is having to problem solve and try to figure out how to fix some of the mistakes you made. And mistakes happen when you're doing this intuitive process. You, a lot of what you're doing is wonder what happens if, or what if I tried this, and it doesn't always work out. So you have to figure out another way and see if you can correct it or make something better. But at the end of the day, it's just paper and paint. So if it doesn't work out, it's not the end of the world. And it's always worth trying something new, something different. I'm just gonna stencil where those branches are that I don't like. I'm getting into the kitchen sink part of this. I am just gonna throw everything I've got at this thing at this point and see what happens. Those were distress oxide sprays, um, and I used spice marmalade and abandoned coral on that. Um, and I really like how that looks, actually. So that's kind of funny. Um, so now let's see. Um, I got another thing I want to throw on here. Why not? Why not? I can't wreck it at this point. Um, is red hot poker orange, and these are Lindy's Magicals. Um, and let's just, why not, right? I don't even know if it'll show up now, but. That's probably way more than I ever would have ever needed. This is just cracking me up at this point. <laughs> Yeah, you can't even hardly see those magicals reacting. Here you can sort of see it. There's a lot there. Let me give that a dry. So now you can't even see the um, one stencil that I did in white. So I'm going to go back and do that again. This is really getting cool, I think, in that it's so rich. Um, and the colors are kind of amazing looking here, I think. So. I mean, don't get me wrong, I took a perfectly good piece of paper and ruined it um, by putting those branches in, but. I think we're getting there. I think we're gonna be able to salvage it. So I'm placing these over where I had those branches to sort of mute them. And I think that's actually working to disguise them. And I'm starting to not see them. They're starting to get pushed way into the background. Oh my God, yeah, that's starting to look really amazing. I wanna get some gold on here, but I don't even know if I have any gold. If there, This is pretty, oh, well, there's a little bit left in here, I think. Let's see if I can get my brush. Yeah, there's some in there. So I added some gold scribbly writing, which I always love to do. And I gotta say, I absolutely love how this turned out and I cannot believe it. 
Um, so the moral of the story or the lesson to be learned is to keep going. Trust the process. Just keep throwing stuff on. There's a lot of layers on here, but in the end, it turned out really, really well. Um, so I'm excited and I will be putting that up on my Teachable site so that it's available. If you like it as well, you'll be able to download it and use it in your artwork. That's it for me today, everybody. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again soon. You can always find me on Instagram, EB Mixed Media. That's EB underscore Mixed Media. Thanks all. Bye.